Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to briefly talk about how to create a nootropic stack. You know, for those of you who don't know this, who, who may be beginners, uh, those of you who are just getting into nootropics and don't really know how to use them. Um, so I'm going to explain how to make a stack, why you need to make a stack, and you know how the different uh, sort of components work together to make a great um, collection of nootropics, how it can work better synergistically instead of just you know independently and on their own. So uh, let's get into it. Firstly, and this is probably the, the most underrated thing that you need to do when using nootropics, is you need to make sure that you still use a basic multivitamin. Okay, now the reason for this is that with nootropics there are various, you know, complicated ingredients and different uh, different things in them. It's hard to, you know, it's easy to forget that you do need still a basic level of vitamins and nutrients in order for your brain uh, and your body to be able to process and biodigest sort of all of the different ingredients in nootropics. So, for that reason, you need a basic multivitamin, and you know I, I use the ones from Boots simply because you know they're they've got everything you need. They've got all the recommended daily allowances, probably a little bit more actually. Um, and this is probably the most important thing. You know, reason I have these is that when you look at them, um, they're quite smooth, and you know when you they don't smell of anything, and they're easy to swallow. Now, with uh, most multivitamins, with you know the powerful ones. The ones that you know contain a lot of, multivit of uh, vitamins and nutrients, they tend to be quite chunky and big. They tend to not be coated, and they tend to, t to taste and smell horrible. Um, and you know that's no fun. You don't want to be doing that every morning. You don't want to be trying to gag down a little pill uh, when you could just take something like this, which has everything you need, and it it tastes of nothing, and it's small. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing that you need to make sure you do is you need to make sure that you take a omega-3-6-9 uh, capsule. Now the reason for that is that your brain uses various things to, you know, to, to build and improve and grow. Uh, one of the most important things is essential fatty acids, which you can't get from, your, you know, from food. You need to get it from a, either a supplement like this, um, or, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are quite small, they're quite cheap, but they will make anything you do seem that more much, that much more effective. You know, uh, any nootropic you take will seem like it's working better when you're taking this and a multivitamin. So that's the first, that's like the fundamentals before you think about nootropics and before you think about adding anything else to your stack. Now, the next thing on my stack, is probably the most effective uh, thing I would say, is Siltep. Now. This is a, a nootropic from Natural Stacks, which I think it stands, I'm not sure the exact lettering, it stands for something like chemically induced long-term potentiation, uh, which means that this is engineered and designed to permanently change your brain for the better. The idea is you take this and after six months, I think six months is the minimum amount of time, your brain will permanently be changed and it'll be better. Um, so the best way of explaining how this works, okay, is to think of um, when you work out, when you exercise your muscles, right, if you progressively sort of put strain on them and, and use them, as in lift weights, you know, exercise, do cardio, uh, they will get stronger and faster, okay, um, so think of it like that, it's sort of opening up your brain and making it fire on all cylinders, so that when you stop using it, you know, uh, you'll still have the effect, you'll still have a stronger brain, uh, it won't just go away instantly. So, and and the main the main sort of ingredient in this, by the way, is artichoke extract. That's what causes most of the effects from this. So, that's sort of the uh, the basic nootropic I have in my stack. The next one, and this is probably uh, what you're more looking for in a nootropic stack. Uh, you know, probably if you're coming to this video, you want something that will give you that focus and that edge straight away. And for that, I use something called OptiNeuro. Now, there's not very good lighting here, so I'm just going to move it around so you can see the label a little bit better. Um, yeah. So, OptiNeuro is a nootropic which is designed to give you laser sharp focus straight away. Uh, it lasts, it comes on almost immediately after about 10 20 minutes. Um, less time if you're on an empty stomach as well, by the way. Um, and it lasts for about five to six hours. Okay. So, this is the effect of this is like your coffee. Okay. This is like your instant focus. And, uh, and mental energy, but without any of the nasty side effects. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how? It does contain a lot of caffeine. I think it contains about three, 400 milligrams of caffeine um, from guarana. It's not, an, you know, it's a, it's a natural source of caffeine from guarana. I think, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> uh, 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine 
which you know is quite a lot. However, and this is what you want to always make sure you look for in a nootropic, um, whenever you see caffeine as an ingredient, you need to make sure it's balanced by L-theanine. Now, the reason for that is that with caffeine, you know, it's one of the most commonly known uh, drugs, supplements, whatever you want to call it, uh, to increase your mental capacity and make you think faster. It makes you act, react, uh, think, do whatever. It makes you faster and, I guess you could say, better, right? But usually, when you have your coffee, after a couple of hours or so, you get a crash, caffeine crash, right? And then that's when you need to have another coffee and another one. And eventually you start building up a tolerance and it becomes an addiction. Now, that is a risk with caffeine. It is an addictive substance. However, what, what you need to do, in my opinion, is limit your intake of caffeine. Have only, I would say, one, maybe two maximum um, times in the day when you actually ingest caffeine. One of them being your OptiNeuro, in my case. And then two, maybe a, a small coffee in the afternoon or something like that. Okay. But the reason you have L-theanine with it is because L-theanine counteracts the jittery effects of caffeine. So it makes you have the, you know, it gives you the effect of the improved mental focus, clarity, uh, and everything like that. But you don't get any jitters and you don't have any come down. It sort of lengthens the effects. Okay. So it's like having that coffee, but it's like spreading it out throughout six hours instead of just having a rush in the first hour and then a crash, you know, needing more caffeine and, and the cycle continues. So it, it sort of balances it out. But that being said, it does still give you a very noticeable boost. You know, it does feel like you've had more than one coffee. In fact, it feels like you've had two or three coffees, but you're not jittery and you're not shaking and you're not freaking out. And, you know, you're just sort of focused and in the zone. So that's why I have OptiNeuro in my stack. OK, there are other ingredients in this, by the way, as well. It's not just caffeine and L-theanine. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Ginseng, magnesium, ginkgo, biloba. I can't say half of these things but they are very well researched and you can find out more uh, in the link in the description. Black pepper, vitamin B12. Um, now, B12 is actually an interesting one, okay? Uh, vitamin B12 is very important for our diet. Now, usually you would get this from things like uh, meats and I think some, some dairy, I'm not sure. However, if you're vegan like I am, um, you sort of need to supplement this. B12 you need to get in your diet somehow. Uh, and obviously there are there is some in a multivitamin like this one. Um, but an added benefit of OptiNeuro is that they do actually have uh, quite a lot of vitamin B12 as an ingredient. I think there's, uh, yeah, 20,000% of the <laughs> of the recommended daily. Oh, no, sorry, that's something else. Yeah, anyway, there's a lot of vitamin B12 in here. So that's an added benefit if you are vegan like I am. Um, this is by far the best focused nootropic I've, I've tested, and I've got a huge shelf of the ones I have tested. This seems to be the best one and that's why this is in my nootropic stack in 2018. So hopefully that's you know that's been a little bit helpful. I know there's a lot of information there. I didn't want to bore you with all the scientific technical information. I just wanted to explain basically what these things do, how they work and how they work together uh, you know to form a stack. If you do want to get any of these, especially the, the Siltep and the OptiNeuro, um, I'm going to have some links in my description which should give you a discount. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.